Hey y'all, I'm back. I've got another haul video. I've got a lot of stuff from uh, AliExpress, some stuff from Amazon, a lot of Born Pretty stuff, um, a lot of hard gel and stuff, some stuff from the Nail Cakery, which is a page on Instagram. I'll try to remember to link it in the description box because they have some really pretty things. So, let's get the boring thing out of the way first. I got one of these. I know y'all have seen these other videos countless times, but these are good little things to have, I think. I've got so many rhinestones building up, and I just wanted to have some place to store them all together. Right now, I'm putting them in a pill case that's made for separating your pills out. It's four weeks worth, you know, so you get a month all together and it's big and bulky and I don't like it so yeah I got that to kind of put some of my rhinestones in um from AliExpress okay let's jump to AliExpress I got some of these Vinalisa hard gels um, I've already opened them and swatched them I haven't tried them actually on my nails yet but I think they're pretty colors. I'm going to go back and get some more, I think, because these are just, I mean, the price alone. Can't beat it. And they've got so many other colors, and some of them have glitter. Um, I did notice that they're completely different viscosities. Like, this is not self-leveling at all. This is pretty, pretty runny, as you can see. This, I'm not liking the color of, actually. It's just, it's too dark for me, I think. It just doesn't look good against my skin. So, I don't know. I had saw where Aggie, Unpolished by Aggie, I think is the channel. She lightened a Builder Gel up with white pigment powder, I think. So, I may give that a try. I'm not real sure. This color, I think, is really pretty. It's just, you know, like a pretty baby pink. Good for nail bed color, I think. Um, I think it looks really good with my skin that's about the same color as Casper the Ghost, you know? Natural redhead problems. Uh, but like I said, it's really thick. It's almost... Like poly gel. Like I haven't touched this pot. I got it maybe a month ago. And I swatched it. And I haven't touched it since. And it's, you know, it's it's very thick. So I think it might be good for French nails. For building a smile line, you know, for building a nail bed. I think it would be really good for that. Um... Let's see, what else did I get from AliExpress? I got, oh, I got a bunch of Born Pretty stuff. Tried ordering from the website, and my MasterCard kept declining the purchase. I said it was an unusual transaction for me. So, I don't know. I was able to get, get the payment to go through on AliExpress, though. So, that worked out good. Um, I got several things. I got, let's see. So the super top coat, which I have heard is supposed to be the shiniest top coat out there. I actually used it on these, and I think it's uh, it's holding up really well. It doesn't scratch, and it is really shiny. It's very um, liquidy, which I like. You know, some people like a thick top coat. I like usually a fairly thin one, personally. And I got one of the, let me see it, the name before I take this off. It is one of their Sea Blue Cat Magnetic Gels. I got color SB07. Really pretty blue. Really, really pretty blue. I like it. I haven't worn it yet. I do have it swatched on a full cover tip over here. And 
Yeah, I think it's a really pretty color. I've seen it done with matte top coat. And it looks really cool like that too. So yeah, I'm thinking ahead to like mm, winter nails. I think that could make some really pretty wintertime nails. And I got, let's see, let's do this. I got, it says five and one top coat. I mean, I got it for adhering rhinestones. But it does not leave a sticky layer. It's non-wipe. So I, I think I'm going to like it actually it's not i mean it's it's fairly thick let me see if i can get it up here and show you it's, it's fairly thick so it does kind of it is kind of good for holding the rhinestones in place and them not sliding all over the nail before you get it in the lamp i have tried it out on just some little test nails you know and it seemed to work pretty good so yeah i think that's going to come in really handy i got two of their new hard gels cannot believe the price on these y'all i mean you get let's see i got both of the nudes, and I got a clear, which I had to get from Amazon. And I'll show you that in a little bit. But it's 60 ml. It's a big pot. Big pot. And it it reminds me of my Mia Secret, which I normally use. My Mia Secret hard gel. This is my Mia Secret color. I mean, right? It looks pretty much the same. They also send each of these pots with a gel brush. So I haven't really swatched these yet. But I have been kind of looking at them in the pot and everything. And I had heard some other people say they thought they were kind of thick. I don't know. This is kind of the viscosity I think I like. It does self-level somewhat, but it's not to the point that it's going to be running all over, you know? And you can always warm it up and, you know, set the, the closed pot down in a bowl of hot water. Or uh, get one of those coffee cup warmers, the electric warmers for your coffee cup. Co coffee cup, not pot coffee cup warmers um but i kind of like the consistency of it i think it's actually going to be nice and this pink i think is really pretty too it's a little bit darker than that other pink i was just showing you the Venalisa. let's see what i do with that swatch stick here it is um well i don't know i don't know they're pretty close in color Porn Pretty One seems to be a little bit cooler in tone. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's a big old pot of hard gel for, I think, sorry about that. I think it was somewhere around $10, $11 range for the whole pot. So, I mean, you really can't beat that. And I got two brushes. I can't remember if they came with... Uh, nail forms. I think they may have come with those gold square nail forms that are cheap and everybody hates and I can see why. But, yeah. So, I'm dying to try those out. I'll be doing that really soon, I think. Getting ready to actually take these off because they're so outgrown. And I'm actually getting ready to show you the pink color I used on these. That would be these from the Nail Cakery. I got a rubber base. This hot pink that I'm wearing. I don't think it has a color name. 
If it does, it's not on the bottle. And I don't remember seeing Maybe it did have a name. I can't remember. And then I got this one. And it is... I don't know, like a nude. They were having a... 40 or 50... 40 or 50 percent off sale and so i've been wanting this uh, jelly hot pink for gosh for ages so i went ahead and snapped that up got the rubber base which so far i used it with these and i think this is going to be my new favorite honestly and then you know you can always use more nude polishes so I've got some swatch sticks here. I thought we could um, go ahead and swatch them because I, I haven't done that yet. So let's see. Oh, yeah. Wow. One coat. Hmm. Definitely glad I bought that one. And the pink, I know I like it. Like I said, it's it's what I'm wearing now. This is two coats of the pink with one of those um, magnetic hollow, the universal magnetic hollows over top. Yeah, I've been getting compliments everywhere I go. People really like this color, evidently. But this, I just, oh my gosh, I love it. I love, I'm sorry, that's my cat in the background. Um, yeah, I mean, look how pretty is that. Mm. Let me just knock it all and spill it all. Okay, let me stick these in the lamp. And I'll be right back. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's just one coat on each. Yeah, those are going to be getting a lot of use. That nude, especially. But yeah, that pink. I mean, how pretty is that? Seriously. Okay, next. Let's see. We're jumping back to Amazon now. So let's get all these out of the way. Um, I got some cuticle oil, which I was in desperate need of. I was running out of the one I was using before. Um, this is the name brand. Machibelli? I don't know. Um, I got the vanilla scent. They have several scents. I saw pomegranate and tea tree and lavender and peppermint, uh, milk and honey. I mean, they all kinds of scents, but I've had this for, oh, over a month, and I've been using it like crazy, because I'm telling you, this stuff smells so good, and it works really good. It's got the glass dropper, which, you know, we all like, I think, and it's, I get it, it's that, uh, perfect consistency. It's thick enough that it, you know, sticks around for a second, but thin enough so when you rub it in, it doesn't linger and make your hands all slippery and, you know, you feel like you have to go wash your hands off afterwards. This stuff, oh my goodness, I love it. I definitely will be repurchasing this when it runs out. And probably in the same scent, because I'm telling you, that vanilla is such a pretty vanilla smell. It's not that sweet, sickly, fake vanilla. It's just like nice vanilla. Okay. Next thing I got. This is Amazon still. I got a silicone mold. I thought I just got the one with the roses. I thought I might like to use it. I saw one by a big company. Um, it's a big, you know, it's a big mold. It's fairly decent size, and it's got roses and bows and something else, I think. I can't remember. 
but it was like 30 bucks and I didn't know if I was going to like it. I didn't want to invest that much at first. So I thought, well, I'll just try this one out first. And I made, I made on a little sample nail. This is one of the roses I made with that jelly pink polish. I think I backed it with that nude gel polish that I got from them too. Just so it wouldn't be completely see-through. I just put it on the back side. And I used that um, Born Pretty 5-in-1 top coat to adhere it. And I've been pulling on it and it's it feels like it's on there really well. Um, the only issue is these edges can be kind of sharp. But I'm thinking maybe a thin, very super thin layer of top coat over the top. And that might keep them from uh, being so sharp feeling. I think that'll work all right. Okay, next on Amazon. I left this in the package because I wanted you to see how, how well these Warm Pretty Gels come Packaged. Oh my god. This is packaged too well, actually. Hang on, let me cut this open. Okay. So, they come in this bubble bag, which comes in another bag. And then you get. Oh my goodness. Never ending bag here. Okay, let's see. So you get the gel, which is completely sealed. We'll open that in just a second. Um, a poly gel brush. I don't know why they would give you a poly gel brush for hard gel, but. I mean, that's one of those things you can, you really never have too many of these, honestly. You always need them for something. The spatula is good for mixing colors with if you like to do that. Um, thin, thin file, and I have no idea what grit that is. It feels 180, 150, somewhere in that range some different forms. Uh, I've never used these. Open them up and check them out. I was actually thinking about ordering some forms soon, so if these are decent, I may just use those. Oh. Well, I don't know how long those are going to be. Well, I guess they'll be long enough. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I'll try those out and see how they how they work. And then back to the gel. Okay. Let me pause and open this up. Okay. Got it opened. Um, it's clear. As I'm sure y'all saw on the lid. Uh, let's see. Viscosity. Oh, that's kind of thick. Thicker than I'm used to. But, could always warm it up. So, let's see. Let's put it on a tip. And see how, if I could pick this thing up. Um, let's see how Yeah, that is really thick. There is not much self-leveling going on there at all. And this has been sitting in my room, room temperature, which is, I'm trying to think, we usually keep the thermostat set at about 75 during the day, 72 at night, so it's not super warm, it's not super cold. Yeah, it's kind of leveling out a little bit, but yeah, that's actually on the thicker side than I thought it would be. 
So, I don't know. Let's get this out of the way. Yeah, it's kind of thick. But, yeah, you can always, you know, there's ways of changing that. I'm just sticking it in the lamp to cure it. Um, there's ways of changing that. Making it thinner. If you want it thinner, you know, if it's too runny and you want it thicker, I guess you could stick it in the refrigerator. I don't know. I don't know how that well that would work, though. Might make it cloudy. So, yeah, thinner. I definitely want it thinner. So, okay, while that's in the lamp, we're going to get to the last thing. This just came today. This is what I was waiting on to finish this video off with. Okay. As of today, Monday, September 26th, this on Amazon was $9.99 for this whole little kit, which I thought was a decent price for, you know, the amount of stuff you get in it. Let's see. Let me open it up from the correct side here. So, this is another Born Pretty product. I've opened it up, taken off the overwrap, and kind of looked through it, but I haven't really taken anything out as far as, you know, to open anything up out of the inside of the box yet. So, let's see. You get another little file. This one's actually, you know, Got some foam backing. One side is, I don't know, one side's more coarse than the other, but they're still in that 150, 180 space, I would say. Okay, you get instructions. Um, yeah, just how to use it, warranty. Um, you get these little French stickers which i don't use i don't know i've got some friends that paint their nails still i may just see if they want them if not these will probably go in the trash honestly i never used them even back in the days when i was just re using regular nail polish um you get a chrome powder which is pretty red I thought for, with this being a $10 kit, if all you got was the chrome and the little flash cure lamp, that to me is worth $10. I mean, seriously. But you get all this other stuff, too. So you get the lamp, which I will try and plug up. I think I've got a USB plug over here. I'll plug that up in just a second. You get... And, of course, these things never want to come out. Six in one. I don't know what the six uses are for, but... I know it's to adhere full cover tips and as a base coat. Ooh, that's thick. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I can show you. Yeah, that's pretty thick. And you get, I think it said, I'm trying to remember how many tips it said were in here. 500, I think, but there's like six different kinds, I think. Five or six different kinds. So when you break it down by type, not as many, but, you know. Okay, so, let's see. Oh my goodness, there's so many here. Um, okay, so, one, two, three, four. Five? Is that it? Okay. I don't know. Okay, you get straight half tips. Okay. 
And there's the curve on them. Fairly decent C curve. I like a good C curve. Pretty. Those are pretty. I mean, they're strong up here at the tip, and they're flexible down at the base. So, yeah. And there are, I think, yeah, two bags of those in all different sizes. Um, I should have looked this up on on Amazon before I open these up to see what all the different kinds were supposed to be. But, you know. Okay, and these are coffin tips. Nice and straight. Oh, nice seeker. Oh, yes. I like that. And they're just, you know, tips. Half tips. And there's... Looks to be two bags of those. Um... Last kind of half tips are, uh, I'm not going to already tell you, these will not be getting used. These. Not my style. They're the, the ones with the curve to them. Yeah, that, that is not my style. But, you know, there's people that like that style, and, you know, to each their own. If it makes you happy, you do it. I don't care for them, personally. On myself. So, there's two bags of those, and you don't get a whole lot in either bag of those. So, I mean, I think they know that they're not that popular. Okay, now, full covers. I think there's two different lengths. They're both coffin and, yeah. So they said one was more of an extra long, and the other ones were, I think, more of a normal length versus a regular length. Um, let's see. Let's look at these. Let me get them apart. Nice and straight. Decency curve. Not as much as the other ones. Let's see. Nice and flexible. At the cuticle edge. Fairly strong at the free edge. So, yeah. Those look okay. I don't really wear a whole lot of full cover tips. I don't really like the way they feel. But, I have worn them. And I see why people like them so much. I mean, they do give you a really quick nice looking nail so you know there is a, there is a time to place for them oh these are kind of short for me i mean for a lot of people we call this super long but compared to what i have on now they're well they're probably about the length that i'm wearing right now honestly i'm sorry man sinus infection still going um <laughs> nice and straight Decency curve, nothing, you know, extra. And same thing as the other ones. Thin cuticle area, thicker free or thicker on the free edge. So yeah. Those are nice. So let's plug this little lamp in and see how she goes. I like sometimes on my nails when I do mine I like to sculpt using you know forms and sometimes I like to use the half tips and do it that way so when I put on my half tips I like to adhere them with base coat I don't really care for uh, glue well, I don't have... Hang on, I'm going to have to go get a plug for this. Okay. Got that all worked out. And, let's see. This is the kind of plug it is. It's just the oval one. 
I don't know what that's called, whatever type that is, but okay. And I think it just came on there by sensor. I don't think I pushed anything to turn it on. And I'm assuming it will go off by itself after, I don't know, 60 seconds or something. Um, it's got four little LED lights, so that's nice. And yeah, that is going to be super handy. That's what I said. For if all I got in this kit for $10 was the lamp and the chrome, I would be completely satisfied. Honestly, that's what I bought it for. So, that's everything for today, you all. Um, it's been kind of a long video. Damn, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I have another one I want to do that's going to be more fun stuff. More glittery, shiny. You know, I've got some glitters I've ordered from AliExpress. Some Halloween glitters from Set Snail Co. Yeah, that was probably about a minute. Um, some of the Halloween glitters from Set Snail Co. And a couple other things from them and some rhinestones and just you know all the fun stuff so hopefully that'll be up in the next few days maybe week at the most and after that i have a set of nails i'm planning to do that i'd like to do on camera um but yeah that's it um thanks you all for joining me i appreciate it um i'll try and leave that one page link below that i was telling you about the um place that I got this nail cakery and if you want to know where you know a link to any of this other stuff let me know in a comment and I will try and get a link up for you okay um like I said the born pretty kit right now it's $9.99 $10 on Amazon as of today the 26th of September so I don't know how long it will be that price so y'all get over there and get them see you next time